Right, so let's get going on making these flapjacks. First thing you're gonna need, flat baking tray. This is non-stick, but I always line it with a bit of parchment paper or grease proof paper, just because I use it for lots of things. So for flapjacks, I'll line it, right? So I'm gonna have my oats and butter. I always use butter, real butter. Um, honey, mixed fruit of choice. So you can use a pack of mixed fruit. This is just raisins. You could use all, um, you know, currants, sultanas, cranberries, whatever you like. You could chop figs, prunes, doesn't really matter. Whatever you like, okay? Um, honey and mixed spice, I love to add. And you could also grate the rind of an orange if you wanted. I mean, there's loads of different flavors, but this is just the basic. So in terms of um, first things first, what do we need to get going? We need to get the butter and the honey melted. So the recipe is um, 250 of butter. And I've got really lovely soft butter, uh, so it's actually going to be really easy to uh, to melt. I'm going to probably use um, all of that, yep, and get that in there. And uh, then my honey. Now I actually have loads of different amounts of it, basically in jars, but I'm going to add about two twenty of honey into that. Okay. I have to get the other one going as well. So. When you get this uh, all thrown into the pot and you need to get it melted, right? So what I'm gonna do is just get this going, get it on the heat, don't boil it, use a medium heat and melt all of the butter and melt all the honey together. So when I have that done, I'm gonna come back to you, okay? Okay, back again. So I have my butter and my honey melted, okay? I'm gonna need a little water as well now. How much is a little? There's 300 in that, 300 mils. I might use it all, it really depends. And the reason it depends is because sometimes the oats can absorb more water. So I always say, don't, don't get it all in, throw it in and see how your mixture is going. Because you want is when you feel it, it feels like kind of a wet dough that you can actually press down together. So let's come to the oats. So I have 300 grams of oats. I've basically half the recipe from our book, um, but being a little bit more generous on the honey. Um, so I have 300 grams of oats in that, um, in that bowl. And as I mentioned, I like mi mi mixed spice. It has a lot of fla a lovely flavor. If you didn't have mixed spice, don't worry about it. You could use cinnamon, use a pinch of cardamom, but I love um, uh, mixed spice because it just has everything already made into it. And I always dunk a teaspoon in and kind of flick it around. So I'll give it a stir later, right? I am also going to need my dried fruit. Okay? So the recipe would call for, I'd say around 200. This bag is a 500 bag. To be honest, I always just eyeball it. I dunk it in. I'm not that concerned with making sure I have hit the exact amount of calories as per the recipe that I put in the book. So I really just have a look when I put my uh, fruit in and kind of go, does that look like there's enough fruit for a nice flapjack? Now, the reason why I make these um, is because if you go and buy a flapjack in the shop, you are gonna get honey and butter, but you're also probably gonna get um, loads of brown sugar as well as the fruit. And that's why, you know, they're kind of miles more calorific. But plus, uh, if you make this batch, they're cheap, so cheap in comparison to whether you actually go out and buy it every day with your cup of coffee. So that's why we make them. Anyway, if you can have a look in that, you can see my fruit is all in there. Now, the only thing I now need to add is my melted butter and honey. So I've melted that. It's literally all like liquid, but I just made sure I didn't boil it. And I'm going to pour that in. Now I know from making these, I'm going to need some water. So I'm going to pour about half that water in, and then I'm just going to have a look and see what the dough looks like. So go around the center, um, bringing all the dry oats. Twist the bowl is kind of really handy, and just kind of, kind of scoop them in. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going doing that again. I am not recording that again. I was being a little too vigorous on my stirring. So I just kind of go around and um, just keep stirring it until I get all of the dry oats gone. I'm laughing at it. Right, so I'm looking by, the, and by this and I know that it's ready. And the reason that it's ready is because I can kind of feel that it's sticky, but I also can see when I am, um, uh, you know, pressing against it with my wooden spoon that it's sticky. And I would say that I used 280 of water, right? Always see. So I'm gonna now 
dump this out onto my prepared tray and it's going to go into the oven okay now the oven's at 180 they always take around 20 minutes after about 10 i turn them around and uh, just so that my oven is coloring them all evenly and i um just feel the middle and the middle should no longer feel wet and they should all be pretty golden now if you're making uh, if you've got a tray that is much much bigger than the amount of mixture that you have don't worry about that you can just actually pack it down flat bring it into one to, you know say two-thirds of your tray and leave the rest of the tray empty right now the key to a good flapjack is pressing it down really really well and you have two options you can either wet your hands and use your hands or you can do what I'm going to do and I'm just going to get another piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to press it down on my mix and I press it down really flat I lift this up and I go across the whole of my mix and I make sure that it's really nice and flat and pressed into the whole corners sometimes people would um, send me a message and say oh my flapjacks broke a bit so I'd say did you press them down really really flat and they'd say, oh, well, maybe I didn't. So that really is the secret when you're making flapjacks. So I'm just going to show you this now. Okay. So you can see that what I have here is a really nice flat mixture. Okay. It's actually filled all my tray because when I flattened it down, um, it did that. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and neat. Okay. Now that is going to go into the oven. Okay. So just check there's no kind of... Um, obvious uh, different um, thicknesses just fix that there that's going to go into the oven like I said about 20 minutes when they come out of the oven let them cool for a few minutes before you actually try and cut them pizza cutter is the easiest thing to cut them but check them after about 15 have a look flip them after 10 like I said but in 20 they should be gorgeous okay that's what they look like into the oven I'll come back and show you the finished product in a few minutes Now, listen, just wrapping this up, these are out of the oven, so I'll show you them here. They're actually really lovely and golden. Okay, that's about 23 minutes. So just when I press in the center, it feels quite firm. Now they're just out, so don't cut them yet. Give them seven minutes, eight minutes, something like that, just to kind of settle down, right? The easiest thing to do is use the pizza wheel if you have one. If not, use... Um, like that chef's knife rather than the serrated edge okay when i'm using the, sh the wheel i don't kind of just run it through and um, what i actually do is and um, just get rid of me low battery sign i don't run it through so i actually just press it down into it and kind of just move it across but it's great if you come any if in the line you're cutting this fruit it's just really handy don't worry if you don't have it use this so go across down three or four lines across in this one i'd probably get six and then let them cool totally if you can before you dig in but once they're cooled you can actually take them out and store them what i do is i store them in a plastic tupperware box with a little bit of greaseproof paper in the bottom and they would last a week if you hadn't eaten them all but um, we make them twice a week anyway so look i hope you enjoy that that's how you make them really easy